Hi guys, this is Justin Swadling. I'm back at Dorks Music uh, to bring some more tips and playing ideas on the saxophone. And if you haven't already been following this mini series, we're talking about how to take those first few steps in improvising. Uh, there are many different instructional videos and gear reviews on the Dorks Music YouTube channel, so please subscribe now if you haven't already done so. This video is going to be all about using one fixed melodic resource or scale choice. Um, when you start improvising, it's often uh, a bit of a minefield uh, trying to make all of those different changes and use loads of different scales. But actually, if you limit yourself to just one scale choice at the beginning, that's going to make a huge amount of difference to you getting into uh, improvising in a clear and coherent way. So let's get right into that now. So why is it important to use one fixed melodic resource? Well, it's a starting point and that's what this mini series is all about. Not getting too complicated too soon, just getting used to improvising. Just play, just get playing and then you can start to refine your understanding of chord scale relationships as time goes on. But pick one fixed melodic resource or one scale choice over a sequence. The sequence that you have uh, that comes along with this mini series is a minor blues. It's in concert pitch C minor, A minor for E flat instruments or D minor for B flat instruments. So if I'm uh, playing on uh, an E flat saxophone, which I'm going to demonstrate now, I'm going to be playing an A natural minor scale. That's simply all the notes between A and A, no sharps, no flats. I'm going to use that scale choice now over the top of the sequence and I'm not going to deviate from it at all, I'm just going to use those notes. This isn't dissimilar to the first video where I showed you how to limit your notes. So it's still putting little bits of control into your playing to try and make it more coherent and work well with the sequence that you're playing over. Have a little listen. Okay, so as you heard, I right at the start of that, I played the scale straight up and then I played some different patterns on it. So always play around with a new scale choice. Whenever you learn a new scale, um, even without a backing track, just have a go improvising with it. It stops it just being a scale choice and turns it into a group of notes that you can improvise with. So say I was learning a new scale, um, I'll take that A natural minor again. <laughs> That's the first thing that I'll do with it, is just improvise free. Then I'll try and integrate that into, um, say, a piece that I've been working on. I hope you found this mini-series helpful and those tips uh, to get yourself off the starting line uh, and into improvising. And I hope you'll uh, join me for uh, future improvising uh, tutorials. <laughs>